Buvit Island, Buvit Island, Norwegian, Buvitoya Buov, Ohia or Buvitoyan is a Norwegian uninhabited protected nature reserve. As a subantarctic volcanic island, it is situated in the South Atlantic Ocean at the southern end of the Mid Atlantic Ridge, making it the world's most remote island. It is not part of the southern region covered by the Antarctic Treaty System. The island lies 1,700 kilometers, 1,100 mi north of the Princess Astrid coast of Queen Maud Land, Antarctica, 1,900 kilometers, 1,200 mi east of the South Sandwich Islands, 1,600 kilometers, 990 mi south of Go Island, and 2,600 kilometers, 1,600 mi south southwest of the coast of South Africa. It has an area of 49 square kilometers, 19 sq mi. 93% of which is covered by a glacier. The center of the island is the ice-filled crater of an inactive volcano. Some skerries and one smaller island, Larsoya, lie along its coast. Nairoisa, created by a rock slide in the late 1950s, is the only easy place to land and is the location of a weather station. The island was first spotted on 1 January 1739 by the Frenchman Jean-Baptiste Charles Bouvet de Lozier during a French exploration mission in the South Atlantic with the ships Aigle and Marie. They did not make landfall. He mislabeled the coordinates for the island, and it was not sighted again until 1808, when the British whaling captain James Lindsay encountered it and named it Lindsay Island. The first claim to have landed on the island was made by the American sailor Benjamin Morrell, although this claim is disputed. In 1825, the island was claimed for the British crown by George Norris, who named it Liverpool Island. He also reported having sighted another island nearby, which he named Thompson Island, but this was later shown to be a phantom island. In 1927, the first Norvegia expedition landed on the island and claimed it for Norway. At that point, the island was given its current name of Buvit Island Buvitoya in Norwegian. In 1930, following resolution of a dispute with the United Kingdom over claiming rights, it was declared a Norwegian dependency. In 1971, it was designated a nature reserve. History Discovery and Early Sightings The island was discovered on 1 January 1739, 1739-1-1, by Jean-Baptiste Charles Bouvet de Lozier, commander of the French ships Aigle and Marie. Bouvet, who was searching for a presumed large southern continent, spotted the island through the fog and named the Cape he saw Cap de la Circumcision. He was not able to land and did not circumnavigate his discovery, thus not clarifying if it was an island or part of a continent. 62. His plotting of its position was inaccurate. 47. Leading several expeditions to fail to find the island. 58. James Cook's second voyage set off from Cape Verde on 22 November 1772 and attempted to find the island, but also failed. The next expedition to spot the island was in 1808 by James Lindsay, captain of the Samuel Enderby and Sons at the Sea and a snow whaler Swan. Swan and another Enderby whaler, Otter, were in company when they reached the island and recorded its position, though they were unable to land. A 434-435 Lindsay could confirm that the Cape was indeed an island. 62. The next expedition to arrive at the island, Morel, by his own account, found the island without difficulty with improbable ease, in the words of historian William Mills, 434-435 before landing and hunting 196 seals. 62. In his subsequent lengthy description, Morel does not mention the island's most obvious physical feature, its permanent ice cover. 106-107 This has caused some commentators to doubt whether he actually visited the island. A 434-435 on 10 December 1825, S.C. and S.C.'s George Norris, master of the Sprightly, landed on the island, 62 named it Liverpool Island and claimed it for the British Crown, and George III said 16 December. 
63. The next expedition to spot the island was Joseph Fuller and his ship Francis Alline in 1893, but he was not able to land on the island. German Karl Chung's Valdivia expedition arrived at the island in 1898. They were not able to land, but dredged the seabed for geological samples. They were also the first to accurately fix the island's position. 63. At least three sealing vessels visited the island between 1822-1895. A voyage of exploration in 1927 minus 1928 also took seal pelts. Norris also spotted a second island in 1825, which he named Thompson Island, which he placed 72 kilometers 45 miles north northeast of Liverpool Island. Thompson Island was also reported in 1893 by Fuller, but in 1898 Chun did not report seeing such an island. However, Thompson Island continued to appear on maps as late as 1943. A 1967 paper suggested that the island might have disappeared in an undetected volcanic eruption, but in 1997, it was discovered that the ocean is more than 2,400 meters, 7,900 ft deep in the area. Norwegian Annexation In 1927, the first Norwegian expedition, led by Harold Hornfett and financed by Lars Christensen, was the first to make an extended stay on the island. Observations and surveying were conducted on the islands and oceanographic measurements performed in the sea around it. At N.Y. Sandefjord, a small hut was erected and, on 1 December, the Norwegian flag was hoisted and the island claimed for Norway. The annexation was established by a royal decree on 23 January 1928. 63. The claim was initially protested by the United Kingdom on the basis of Norris's landing and annexation. However, the British position was weakened by Norris's sighting of two islands and the uncertainty as to whether he had been on Thompson or Liverpool, i.e. Bouvet Island. Norris's positioning deviating from the correct location combined with the island's small size and lack of a natural harbour made the UK accept the Norwegian claim. 52. This resulted in diplomatic negotiations between the two countries, and in November 1929, Britain renounced its claim to the island. 63. The second Norwegian expedition arrived in 1928 with the intent of establishing a staffed meteorological radio station, but a suitable location could not be found. 63. By then both the flagpole and hut from the previous year had been washed away. The third Norwegian expedition, led by H. Jalmer Reiser Larsen, arrived the following year and built a new hut at Cap Circumcision and on Larsoya. The expedition carried out aerial photography of the island and was the first Antarctic expedition to use aircraft. 64. The Dependency Act, passed by the Parliament of Norway on 27 February 1930, established Bouvet Island as a dependency, along with Peter I Island and Queen Maud Land. The eared seal was protected on and around the island in 1929, and in 1935, all seals around the island were protected. Recent History In 1955, the South African frigate SAS Transvaal visited the island. Nairoisa, a rock-strewn ice-free area, the largest such on Bouvet, was created sometime between 1955 and 1958, probably by a landslide. In 1964, the island was visited by the British naval ship HMS Protector. One of Protector's two Westland whirlwind helicopters landed a small survey team on the island led by Lieutenant Commander Alan Crawford at Nairoisa for a brief visit. Shortly after landing, the survey team discovered an abandoned lifeboat in a small lagoon formed by the eruption. With very little time, a brief search was made, but no other signs of human activity were found, and the identity of the lifeboat remained a mystery for many years. On 17 December 1971, the entire island and its territorial waters were protected as a nature reserve. A scientific landing was made in 1978, during which the underground temperature was measured to be 25 deg C 77 deg F. In addition to scientific surveys, 
the lifeboat found by the protector team was recovered from Nairoisa, although no other signs of people were found. The lifeboat was believed to belong to a Soviet scientific reconnaissance vessel. The Vela incident took place on 22 September 1979, on or above the sea between Buvatoya and Prince Edward Islands, when the American Vela Hotel Satellite 6911 registered an unexplained double flash. This observation has been variously interpreted as a meteor or instrumentation glitch, but most independent assessments conclude it was an undeclared joint nuclear test carried out by South Africa and Israel. Since the 1970s, the island has been visited frequently by Norwegian Antarctic expeditions. In 1977, an automated weather station was constructed, and for two months in 1978 and 1979 a staffed weather station was operated. 64 in March 1985, a Norwegian expedition experienced sufficiently clear weather to allow the entire island. 59 the Norwegian Polar Institute established a 36 square meter 390 SQFT research station made of shipping containers at Nairoisa 1996. On 23 February 2006, the island experienced a magnitude 6.2 Two earthquake whose epicenter was about 100 km 62 mi away, weakening the station's foundation and causing it to be blown to sea during a winter storm. In 2014, a new research station was sent from Tromso in Norway via Cape Town to Buvit. The new station is designed to house six people for periods of two to four months. In the mid minutes 1980s, Buvatoya, Jan Mayen, and Svalbard were considered as locations for the new Norwegian International Ship Register, but the Flag of Convenience Registry was ultimately established in Bergen, Norway in 1987. 189. In 2007, the island was added to Norway's tentative list of nominations as a World Heritage Site as part of the transnational nomination of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Krill fishing in the Southern Ocean is subject to the Convention for the Conservation of Antarctic Marine Living Resources, which defines maximum catch quotas for a sustainable exploitation of Antarctic krill. Surveys conducted in 2000 showed high concentration of krill around Buvatoya. In 2004, Acre Biomarine was awarded a concession to fish krill, and additional quotas were awarded from 2008 for a total catch of 620,000 tons, 610,000 long tons, 680,000 short tons. There is a controversy as to whether the fisheries are sustainable, particularly in relation to krill being important food for whales. In 2009, Norway filed with the UN Commission on the Limits of the Continental Shelf to extend the outer limit of the continental shelf past 200 nautical miles, 230 mi, 370 km surrounding the island. The Hans Explorer Expedition ship visited Buvit Island on 20 and 21 February 2012 as part of Expedition Pour Le Future. The expedition's goal was to land and climb the highest point on the island. Buvit Island is assigned the amateur radio call sign prefix 30 and several amateur radio D expeditions have been conducted to the island. As of 2022, a D expedition to Buvit Island is planned for January 2023. Geography and Geology Buvitoya is a volcanic island constituting the top of a shield volcano just off the southwest Indian Ridge in the South Atlantic Ocean. The island measures 9.5 by 7 kilometers, 5.9 by 4.3 mi, and covers an area of 49 square kilometers, 19 sq mi, including a number of small rocks and skerries and one sizable island, Larsoya. It is located in the subantarctic, south of the Antarctic Convergence, which, by some definitions, would place the island in the Southern Ocean. Uvit Island is the most remote island in the world. The closest land is Queen Maud Land of Antarctica, which is 1,700 kilometers, 1,100 mi to the south, 58 and Go Island, 1,600 kilometers, 990 mi to the north. The closest inhabited location is Tristan da Cunha Island, 2,250 kilometers, 1,400 mi to the northwest. To its west, 
The South Sandwich Islands lie about 1900 km 1200 mi away, and to its east are the Prince Edward Islands, about 2500 km 1600 mi away. Nairoisa is a 2 by 0 0.5 km, 1.2 by 0 0.3 mi terrace located on the northwest coast of the island. Created by a rock slide sometime between 1955 and 1957, it is the island's easiest access point. 59. It is the site of the automatic weather station. The northwest corner is the peninsula of Cap Circumcision. From there, east to Cap Valdivia, the coast is known as Morgenstiernikistan. Storkari is an islet located 1.2 kilometers, 0.75 mile east of the Cape. From Cap Valdivia, southeast to Cap Lalo, on the east side of the island, the coast is known as Victoria Terrace. From there to Cap Phi at the southeastern corner, the coast is known as Moenkelkistan. Svartstranda is a section of black sand which runs 1.8 kilometers, 1.1 mile along the section from Cap Meteor, south to Cap Phi. After rounding Cap Phi, the coast along the south side is known as Bob Kistan. The westernmost part of it is the 300 meters 980 ft long shore of Estrelif and Stranda. Off Katudin, on the southwestern corner, lies Larsoya, the only island of any size off Buvatoya. The western coast from Katudin north to Nairoisa is known as Esmarchkistan. Midway up the coast lies Norvegiad and Cap Norvegia and 0 0.5 kilometers, 0 0.31 mi off at the Skerries of Benzgera. 93% of the island is covered by glaciers, giving it a domed shape. 59. The summit region of the island is Wilhelm Platit, slightly to the west of the island's center. The plateau is 3.5 kilometers, 2.2 mi across, and surrounded by several peaks. The tallest is Olive Toppen, 780 meters 2560 ft above mean sea level Amsel. 59 followed by Lickatop in 766 meters or 2513 feet Amsel and Mospetopane 670 meters or 2200 feet Amsel. Below Wilhelm Platit is the main caldera responsible for creating the island. The last eruption took place 2000 BCE producing a lava flow at Cap Meteor. The volcano is presumed to be in a declining state. The temperature 30 centimeters 12 in below the surface is 25 deg C77 deg F. 59. The island's total coastline is 29.6 kilometers 18.4 mi. Landing on the island is very difficult as it normally experiences high seas and features a steep coast. 59. During the winter it is surrounded by pack ice. The Bouvet Triple Junction is located 275 kilometers, 171 mi west of Bouvet Island. It is a triple junction between the South American Plate, the African Plate, and the Antarctic Plate, and of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, the Southwest Indian Ridge, and the American Antarctic Ridge. Climate The island is located south of the Antarctic Convergence, giving it a marine Antarctic climate dominated by heavy clouds and fog. It experiences a mean temperature of 1 deg C30 deg F59, with January average of 1 deg C34 deg F and September average of 3 deg C27 deg F. The monthly high mean temperatures fluctuate little through the year. The peak temperature of 14 deg C57 deg F was recorded in March 1980, caused by intense sun radiation. Spot temperatures as high as 20 deg C 68 deg F have been recorded in sunny weather on rock faces. 59. The island predominantly experiences a weak west wind. In spite of these severe climate conditions, Bouvet Island actually is located 4 degrees of latitude closer to the equator. Its latitude by analogy to Scandinavia is instead similar to southern Denmark. Nature the harsh climate and ice-bound terrain limits non-animal life to fungi ascomycetes including symbiotic lichens and non-vascular plants mosses and liverworts. The flora are representative for the maritime Antarctic and are phytogeographically similar to those of the South Sandwich Islands and South Shetland Islands. Vegetation is limited because of the ice cover, 
although snow algae are recorded. The remaining vegetation is located in snow-free areas such as Nunatak ridges and other parts of the summit plateau, the coastal cliffs, capes and beaches. At Nairoisa, five species of moss, six ascomycetes including five lichens, and twenty algae have been recorded. Most snow-free areas are so steep and subject to frequent avalanches that only crustose lichens and algal formations are sustainable. There are six endemic escomycetes, three of which are lichenized. The island has been designated as an important bird area by BirdLife International because of its importance as a breeding ground for seabirds. In 1978, 1979 there were an estimated 117,000 breeding penguins on the island, consisting of macaroni penguin and to a lesser extent. Nairoisa is the most important colony for penguins, supplemented by Posidoscabrine, Cap Circuncision, Norvigiaden and across from Larsoia. Southern Fulmer is by far the most common non-penguin bird with 100,000 individuals. Other breeding seabirds consist of Cape Petrel, Antarctic Prion, Wilson's Storm Petrel, Black-Bellied Storm Petrel, Subantarctic Squaw, Southern Giant Petrel, Snow Petrel, Slender-Billed Prion, and Antarctic Tern. Kelp gull is thought to have bred on the island earlier. Non-breeding birds which can be found on the island include the king penguin, wandering albatross, black-browed albatross, Campbell albatross, Atlantic yellow-nosed albatross, city albatross, light-mantled albatross, northern giant petrel, Antarctic petrel, blue petrel, soft-plumaged petrel, Kerguelen petrel, whitehead. The only non-bird vertebrates on the island are seals, specifically the southern elephant seal and Antarctic fur seal, which both breed on the island. In 1998-1999, there were 88 elephant seal pups and 13,000 fur seal pups at Nairoisa. Southern right whale, humpback whale, fin whale, southern right whale dolphin, hourglass dolphin, and killer whale, are seen in the surrounding waters. Politics and Government Vuvitoi is one of three dependencies of Norway. Unlike Peter I Island and Queen Maud Land, which are subject to the Antarctic Treaty System, 65 Vuvitoi is not disputed. The dependency status entails that the island is not part of the Kingdom of Norway, but is still under Norwegian sovereignty. This implies that the island can be ceded without violating the first article of the Constitution of Norway. Norwegian administration of the island is handled by the Polar Affairs Department of the Ministry of Justice and the Police, located in Oslo. The annexation of the island is regulated by the Dependency Act of 24 March 1933. It establishes that Norwegian criminal law, private law and procedural law apply to the island, in addition to other laws that explicitly state they are valid on the island. It further establishes that all land belongs to the state and prohibits the storage and detonation of nuclear products. Uvit Island has been designated with the ISO 3166-2 code BV and was subsequently awarded the country code top-level domain BV on 21 August 1997. The domain is managed by Norid but is not in use. The exclusive economic zone surrounding the island covers an area of 441,163 square kilometers, 170,334 sq. mi. In fiction, the island figures prominently in the Book of Groove Ice 1962, an adventure novel by Jeffrey Jenkins based on Tristan da Cunha Bouvet and the mythical Thompson Island. Move It is the setting of the 2004 film Alien vs. Predator, in which it is referred to using its Norwegian name Buvitoya.